Guys, time for another lick of the week. Let's see what's going on in this flurry of notes. He's going into this E half diminished chord. And we start off with Ashley in A7 flat 9 arpeggio. So A, B flat A, root flat 9 root. And then just A, C sharp, A, uh, E, C sharp, A, G, which is the dominant arpeggio. And then he resolves it to the F, which is the minor third of D minor. It is a little bit anticipated so we're only in b3 over the a7 still but it's already resolved into d minor and then so this is a concept for those of you who may not know it's called target notes so this f is a target note and these little things are all techniques to embellish notes, embellish a melody. And this is called an enclosure. So we're enclosing our target notes diatonically from above and chromatically from below. It's a very common technique. And then we go up. This kind of suggests a, um, a D minor 6. So it's already alluding to um, the G7, which is, again, a little bit anticipated. And we have the C, so... But that's, that's the general idea. Flat 9 of G7. Going to the root. And here he resolves it again quite early to C. So root, flat seven, resolving to the third of the chord. And then we have another little enclosure. A little bit more chromatic this time, or more chromatic, chromatically altered notes. So we have D flat, B flat, B natural, which resolves into the C, which is our new target note. So we're, that's the enclosure. So we have, There, we just have a C major triad, C, E, G. And that's all major triads. C, E flat, F sharp, A. So it's shifted over in intervals of minor thirds, suggesting a diminished quality. The chords, however, stay major. So C, E flat, F sharp, A, and from here, he goes into the C again, and this is actually just tritones in octaves. So C, C, F sharp, F sharp, C, C, F sharp, so. And then at the bottom, he goes into it. I don't think you have to really classify this or analyze this too literally or deeply. It's kind of a, it's a little florb of notes. The idea is just to, from this G 
to this D flats to the C. And he plays this sort of G pentatonic, G minor thing, or E flat major thing. And then he goes chromatically down from the E flat down to the C. The idea just is just to, again, go from this G, D flat, C by any means necessary. So once again, A7 resolving to D minor, going into a G7 kind of vibe with a flat nine, resolving into C using an interesting enclosure for approaching the C. Then launching into these triads, major triads, C, uh, E flats, F sharp, A, back to C. These tritones and octaves, and then G minor, E flat major. But mostly just chromatic movement down to the C. And that's pretty much the entire lick. In the beginning he is outlining the changes, be it somewhat anticipated. He have diminished uh, A7, D minor 7, G7 and then going to C. Basically, from there on, he doesn't really stick to the changes anymore. So that's not what's going on. Alright, I hope this was somewhat illuminating. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I will see you next time.